Hello. So I have been poorly all week long. Edie has been poorly all week long. Alessia has been poorly all week long. Dre J is currently poorly. Anna and Amelia somehow have not been poorly at all. But that has resulted in a little bit of a lack of um, getting things filmed for you. Uh, but I decided I would make a video today. So about two weeks ago, I think we put up a video, um, I think it was Anna's Q&A with Edie, all about um, how Anna dealt with having a trans, da trans daughter. Someone left a comment and said, so Jonathan isn't non-binary anymore. In 2021, two years ago, I made a video on YouTube and I said I was coming out. People gave me a lot of stick for that because I didn't actually say in the video what my label was, who I identified as, what it was. I just basically put out a video saying I was going on this journey. This was the beginning. If you read my book, All My Friends Are Invisible, you probably have a good understanding of my childhood and what I was trying to unpack. As a child, I never felt I had gender dysphoria. I was always happy with my penis as a man. I grew up in the 80s in Dublin, that Catholic conservative country. We didn't have access to the internet, we didn't have access to information like we have today. You know, there, there, there's cisgenders and then there's queer, but there's so much more. Me, in the 80s, I started to think, well, people always call me gay, so maybe I am gay, but that's confusing because I don't have sexual attraction to men. But then I don't feel like I'm all these things over here and all these things over there. So the first step on my journey of understanding who I am was to unbox all of my childhood trauma that had been locked inside my head for nearly 40 years, 30 years. When I was about 10 years old, I had, I had this um, self-awareness moment when I decided that I was going to pretend to be someone else until the world was safer and better where I could be myself. I was in my 40s now, which is kind of like midlife, and I thought, I gotta figure this stuff out. Like, I, got, I can't just keep going the way I'm going. So I made a video, 2021, I put it up, and then I began writing the memoir. There was also quite a lot of noise from the internet because at the same time, I was supporting Edie and having a trans daughter and I was supporting her and kind of like saying to her like, you know, you can be anything you want to be and don't be afraid. And then, you know, I was having these moments where I was sort of having these kind of midlifey feelings of trying to understand and unpick my trauma and open boxes that I had stored away. And then I kind of had these like self-reflective moments with Edie when I thought, why I need to take my own advice. <laughs> I need to take my own advice and figure out who the hell I am. And the first thing I did is I just made a big mess. I just made a big mess. I just started ripping things off, throwing things all over the place, saying things and talking about things and just just scattering everything, just pulling everything out of me. All these like hidden things are inside of me. You know what I mean? The shame of how I dress, how I thought, what I mind. You know, just threw it all out and made a big old mess everywhere. And then, you know, as time went on, as months went on, I was sort of started to organize the things. Actually, you know, this might have been relevant at one point in my life, but I've grown and I've changed and I let this go and I would let it go. And then there'll be another thing, I pick up another thing and think, God, like, why was I so afraid of this? Why did this, why had this so much control of me? Why did this give me so much fear? And I kind of just like, let it go. It's the 28th of August, 2021. Till we meet again, she said, does darkness fell on Dom D. And it stayed dark for 20 fucking years. It was like the first time in my life I had kind of found myself with this like such sense of inner peace about not being afraid of who I am, not having to feel like I need to explain myself. There was a lot of people during that adventure that expected um, me to like turn into a girl or make some huge thing or leave Anna or like, you know, make some big dramatic gesture like the media always presents itself that like this is what's gonna happen. But that didn't really happen because I wasn't unhappy in my marriage and I wasn't unhappy. I was just, I had carried around 
so much shame and so much like fear of people constantly telling me you know that I was wrong and stuff for most of my life so I was just I, I was being really protective of myself you know and I just I'm at an age now I mean, I'm 43 years old now but I feel really like I feel really comfortable in my skin and I feel really happy with myself you know and that's a hard I feel like that's been a hard thing to um, to do you know to get to a point where you actually feel like yeah you know I'm actually I'm really happy in my life I don't think I've ever been any other point in my life have I felt as comfortable as I do today in my own skin so the reason I'm not like out there talking about stuff is because I reached the end of the adventure I went on the adventure and I figured it out I figured out I came to the conclusion of I un I, I, I let all all of the the things that I was just carrying around in me they were just taking up space in my body and my mind and they were just taking up all this space and now that they're gone I had space to like have new experiences and new feelings and it feels great just to be like free of all this like heavy baggage that you're pulling around I think if I was born now and I was a kid today um, having you know the internet and being able to find other people like me would have made my life a lot easier <laughs> I would have very quickly uh, established that I was definitely a non-binary person and it would have taken all the confusion away as a child and I would have continued through life with that knowledge and not that I feel like I need a label but I am 43 now and I've lived a long time <laughs> as me the way I am as a he him and as a, all that stuff so I'm okay to continue doing that when I, when I made that video um, I didn't want to label myself and everyone put so much pressure on me to try and find a label for myself but I just didn't feel like I had one that made any sense to me you know and um, the only one it kind of did was non-binary which is just basically opting out of the gender spectrum being like I'm just I'm just me you know um, cool you can call me whatever you want I don't really care but I'm just me and now I know who I am and I'm comfortable with myself and I've completed the adventure and I feel free and happy and excited for the future and excited for myself and just settled settled it took me 43 years to become settled in myself but if you feel that you might be in an unsettled period of your life just know that like you eventually do reach a settling point but sometimes you gotta make a big mess in order to get there <laughs> and it's okay it's okay <laughs> we all have to make messes sometime anyway uh thanks for listening have a nice weekend and uh i'll see you guys later bye